What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Francisco, and today, April 8th, 2025, Elgato has released the Camera Hub 2.0 update for the Camera Hub software. This little update comes packed with a whole bunch of features, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna cover one, and that is the addition of LUTs. Now, just in case you don't know what a LUT is, LUT stands for Lookup Table, and it's a tool that's used in video editing and color grading to apply a specific color look or style to your video footage. You can think of it as a preset or a color filter, if you will. Thanks to this update, you're gonna be able to apply a LUT to your Elgato camera, such as the Elgato Face Cam Mark II, or even a mirrorless camera that is plugged into the Elgato Cam Link 4K. So let's head on into Camera Hub software. I'm gonna show you how to get the LUTs, how to apply them, and what they all look like for both my Face Cam Mark II and my Canon M50. Now that we're in the Camera Hub software, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways you can get these LUTs. So number one, if you go to the effects tab, you're going to notice that there's a new drop down menu right here that says LUTs. If you hit, click this button here, you're going to see six different LUTs that are already preloaded into the software. But maybe the LUTs that are here are not to your liking, or you just want to have a variety, which there's nothing wrong with having choices because having choices is an excellent thing. So you're going to go to the top right corner right here and you're going to hit the marketplace icon. It's going to automatically bring you to the camera hub page and you can already see a couple of LUTs being listed here but we're going to go to the camera LUTs button right here and click that and now you're going to see an additional 11 LUTs that you can add to camera hub so let's go ahead and go with we're going to go with i don't know let's go with miami why not we're going to click miami i'm going to click get i'm going to wait for this to happen i'm going to open in camera hub I'm going to open in Camera Hub there. I'll do it again just, just in case, just to be sure. And then we're back in Camera Hub. And my Lord, is that Miami? It sure is right there. Bam, there it is. Okay, now this looks crazy. All right, so obviously what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to take the intensity down quite a bit. Now we can kind of still see the bit of a green hue here, which I think under certain circumstances it might actually look pretty cool, but I'm not personally a fan. So we're going to go back here to off. It's important to understand that what you're looking at right now is the Elgato Face Cam Mark II. I went ahead and reset everything to factory default settings because I wanted you to get an idea of what the camera looks like coming right out of the box and plugging you straight into your computer. The only adjustments that I've made are to exposure and to white balance. I've gone ahead and turned off the automatic settings for those, and I highly suggest that you do the same. Number one, you want to be able to control your exposure because everybody's lighting situation is completely different. And if you do automatic, although this camera does a great job of handling automatic for the most part, you are going to get such better results if you actually do this manually. I know it seems a little bit of a daunting task, but once you get the hang of it and you understand how ISO and shutter speed affect your image, you'll never go back to automatic again. As far as white balance is concerned, my only tip for you here is that your white balance in your camera hub software needs to match the color temperature of the lights that you're using. So in my case, my lights are set to 3700 Kelvin, therefore my white balance is also set to 3700 Kelvin. Now, let's go ahead and cycle through the LUTs and see what we've got to play with here. So we're back in the effects tab. I'm gonna go down here to LUTs and we can already tell that it's off. And the first one that we're gonna go to over here is coffee break, which is ironic because I'm in the middle of drinking coffee right now. And here it is. And I'm gonna tell you, I think this one looks absolutely fantastic and granted we're at a 90 percent intensity so let me let's, let's let's see what happens when we crank that down let's go to like 60 percent i got i have to land perfectly on a 60 okay there we go 60 percent. i think that looks pretty solid um I, I have no complaints here at all ah uh, all right next up we have film noir now as you can tell this isn't really the monochrome look as it says here shooting monochrome black and white for a bold stylized look this isn't really giving me that effect but again that's mostly because our intensity is a little too low so we can go ahead and crank that up and boom i think i have a pretty solid monochrome look without having to go all the way to 100 percent now what you're looking at is the hollywood LUT, and hollywood LUT is described as subtle warmth and highlights create a polished film-like finish I like how it looks. I can see the potential here, but again, I can tell that the intensity is just a little too much. So we're gonna crank it down quite a bit here. Let's go to 35. Boom. So this is Hollywood at 35% intensity. I think this looks fantastic so far. Next up in line, we have True Tone. Okay. I really, really, really like how this looks. This 
actually kind of lies the name implies looks true to my tone if you will maybe we increase it just a hair let's go to 45 perfect yeah i'm looking at this right now on my laptop and my second monitor over here and this looks absolutely incredible so far true tone has been my favorite next in line we have vivid boost cranks up contrast and saturation for bold brilliant clarity okay I see a bit of a shift, a bit of a change from True Tone to Vivid Boost. At 45%, I still feel like this looks spot on to what I would want it to look like, so I'm not gonna mess with that there. Next in line, we have Velvet. Soft contrast and muted tones make a nuanced, intimate look. Yeah, yeah. I would 1000% describe that as intimate. Uh, it kind of darkened things up a little bit, made it softer, as the name implies, or as the description says here. And last but certainly not least, as you already saw earlier in a video, we've got Miami. Now, let's switch things up a bit and go from the face cam mark to over to my Canon M50, which is connected via the Camlink 4K. Okay, so what you're looking at now is my Canon M50 connected directly to my laptop using the Camlink 4K. And all the settings here, by the way, are organic, which means that I've set the ISO, the shutter speed, and the aperture directly through the camera itself. There are no filters, no color correction, no LUTs, nothing being applied here. Now. Did I also mention that you're able to use your LUTs and apply them to your footage here using Stream Deck Plus or the Elgato Stream Decks out there? By assigning a LUT to each individual key, you're able to cycle through the different LUTs that you want to use. But not only that, you're also able to set the intensity to a predetermined percentage. That way, you know, as you cycle through your LUTs, you're always going to be looking your best. So. Again, Canon M50, no filters, no LUTs, nothing at all. I'm going to go ahead and hit this handy dandy button over here and switch on over to Coffee Break. But um, Now, if I do it again, but I go to the button next to that, we're going to be over here in the film noir region, which is pretty film noir. Let's check out Hollywood. Bam, Hollywood. Hollywood's looking sharp. I like Hollywood a lot, I'm not going to lie, but it's really tough to decide between Hollywood and True Tone. I really, really like True Tone. I think True Tone looks absolutely smooth, if you will. But Vivid Boost over here kind of makes a hard case because, again, I feel like this one looks pretty darn solid too. We have Velvet, Velvety Smooth, if you will, if you will. Okay. And last but certainly not least, we have Miami with that greenish hue. If you're a fan of that, I'm not, but that's okay. I just want you to see that you have options. Since I'm still drinking my cup of coffee here, I figured it'd be appropriate to close this video out using the coffee break lot. So with that said, listen, Camera Hub 2.0 is out today. So go ahead and update your Camera Hub software right now so you can start taking advantage of all the incredible lots that they have available for your Elgato webcams and your mirrorless camera using the Camlink 4K. Of course, there's a host of other features that I'll cover later on in a different video. But for now, LUTs, this is a huge win for anybody using these cameras. So get out there, get recording, get creating. You have a great day. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace out.